Hello viewers, I'm SB and this is Train Valley 2. Uh, this is a train themed puzzle game that came out on Steam I think last week and that I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I did not pay for this game. I was given a copy for free by the developer, but when we get back to the level select screen in a minute here, you are going to see how much time I've put in and hopefully it will become obvious that my positive opinion here is wholly earned. I really, I spent like an irresponsible amount of time playing this game over the weekend. Uh, so the goal of every level in Train Valley 2 is to deliver the goods depicted in the yellow triangles to the cities. So we have a city down here at the bottom of the hill that wants some furniture and some boards, and a city up here at the top of the hill that wants some glass and some bricks. And we will make those goods by building some train tracks and delivering workers out to these stations to make things. Uh, now, so all, of the, all of the stations that we can see here require at least a worker, but some of them, like this boards factory, I don't, I don't know what you call the kind of building you make boards in, uh, requires uh, workers and also logs. So we're going to have to produce some logs first at the lumber camp and then ship them over. And, you know, that's what the game is about. It's about shipping stuff on trains everywhere, hence the name. So let's build out some more starting track. You can see that laying down track costs money. It gets a little bit expensive when you have to lay a lot of it and... We have a limited amount of money. You do not get enough money at the start of the level to build all the track you need. So, in order to make money, we're just going to launch some trains here. Uh, in order to make money, you have to deliver useful goods to stations. So you can see each of our trains says over top of it $3,000. Down in the lower left, you can see we currently have four trains to work with. They each have three cars, and a carload of workers is worth $1,000 if delivered to a, uh, a station that actually needs workers. The stations work a lot like the cities, once they have all of their prerequisites, their ingredients, so to speak. A uh, little black bar starts filling up, and when this hits the 12 o'clock position, a worker will be converted into a log, and I suggest that you just don't spend a lot of time thinking about that process. Don't ask any questions. Nobody needs to know what the logs are made out of. So obviously we're going to need to get our logs over to the board station. And you can see here, you can pause the game at any time, and while the game is paused, you can build track, you can... Uh, switch your tracks if you built a place where you have a switch you can issue orders to your train you can launch new trains so uh, despite the fact that the game does get kind of complicated like the in the later levels there's a lot of stuff going on you have a lot of balls to keep in the air there's a lot of trains running all over the place it's never a reflex thing you always have the option of pausing catching your breath figuring out a new plan fixing any mistakes you might have made so it's a very relaxed experience i mean i play i play puzzle games to relax a lot of the time uh, so let's build ourselves another switch here because we're going to need to deliver some workers over here to this boards factory and each station has a limit on the goods it can hold obviously it says one of six logs here so the station can only hold up to six logs but this also tells you the number of each component part that it can hold so this station can hold up to six logs and also up to six workers so we don't want to send another train load of workers there right now because some of them would just be wasted i don't know they just disappear i assume they just get hurled out the back and nobody ever finds them. We do have to be a little bit cautious with our resource buildup. We don't want to end up wasting anything. I think by the time this train reaches that sand factory, there should be enough room for all these workers, though. Alright, so let's get a couple of train loads of stuff going out to the board factory. Uh, so you can see, there's a tunnel through this mountain that has been laid for us. I pro actually did not have enough time for that. Hold on, we can click on this train to pause its movement. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a tunnel in this mountain already, but it's not really in the optimal place for us because, like, we need to get the sand across to the glass factory, and we could build track all the way around here, and honestly, it would probably be cheaper than building our own tunnel because tunnels are really expensive, but uh, the time cost would be significant, and also it would mean that that train is getting in the way of all of our other stuff that we want, want to run through there. So you do have the option of building your own bridges and tunnels. What would it cost to get us through this mountain? $43,000. Okay, that's totally doable. Uh, so notice, the log train is worth $6,000. Uh, the more processed a good is, the more valuable it is. So like when we deliver these logs, we'll make twice as much as when we deliver workers. When we deliver these boards, we'll make even more than that. The furniture will be worth even more than that. Uh, so if we can just deliver some finished logs to the, uh, the place here. We should be able to make the money for that tunnel in no time. And then we're going to get some more workers in and produce some more logs. Because it seems like we're going to need we're gonna need at least 17 units of logs, right, to make all this stuff. 
Uh, yeah, and we'll have room for three more guys at the sand factory. Listen, I've worked indoors on computers my entire life. I don't know the names of almost any kind of buildings where things are actually made, it turns out. Alright, so when these get delivered, we will be all set. Unfortunately, obviously, it's going to cost some money to actually lay down the tracks that are going to help us get things to the places where we need them. So let's let that land. 8,000 is, I'm sure, not going to be enough for this whole distance here. Uh, it's pretty close, though. Alright, I need one more like, load of workers or something. Alright, we may as well send these guys down here, because we're about to send some more logs down there as well. Yeah, I guess I could have waited on this, because we knew we were going to have to, uh... Oh, I have... I made a small error. Okay, if you stop a train entirely, you can turn it around. I assume that it's not that easy to turn a train around in real life. But obviously this is an issue. Okay, remember to flip your switches. Turns out to be pretty important. You can always deliver a load of goods back to the place it came from. In case you make the sort of mistake that you see me making. And then we may as well just get a bunch more resources running out here. We know we're going to need a lot more boards. Uh, and as soon as the first train load lands there... There was probably like a slightly more efficient way to build my track somewhere that would have left me with the extra thousand dollars. And actually, we're going to need some track run up here too, because that glass factory is going to need workers. So you can see right now, all four of our trains are currently out. We could not send out another train load of goods right now. Uh, so, eventually, you may want to buy some new engines, but we're going to be a little careful with that on this run, because we're trying to get a five-star score. So you can see here, there is a uh, there are five stars to be earned on each level. Progress is not gated by these. All you have to do is complete a level to be able to move on to the next one. But I have video game brain sickness, and if you tell me I could get more stars, I just I have to. I just have to do whatever the thing is. So the first three stars on the level are always for completing it in enough game time. Um, but the other two change uh, pretty significantly from level to level. So here we want to not upgrade our engines, and we want to not buy any more than two additional engines. We probably will end up buying two additional engines. Though. They really are very useful. I think we're probably going to have to tell this train to chill out. Uh, it's going to be close. Yeah, let's slow this down a little bit. We were definitely going to have a collision there. Okay, so we need 14 total glass. We have 6, 11... Okay, we actually have enough... Uh, yeah, 6, 11, 14... Yeah, we have enough sand. We just need a little... We just need to actually get it turned into things. Alright, so we've hit the... Uh, we've hit our cap on boards. Our boards factory is just not producing anymore. We don't need the sand for anything else, so we may as well send it all forward. Okay, uh, 12 is not enough, right? Yeah, 8 and 9, okay. We need some more loads of workers over there, but we need to actually get these boards down to the furniture factory. So, uh, when you're building a train track, you have to think ahead a little bit. It's very easy to get yourself into a situation like this, where now I can't build down this hill because train tracks cannot turn a sharp 90 degrees. You, have to, you learn to give yourself a little bit of breathing room here. And one thing I really like is that when you're in build mode, all of the surfaces you can build on are very clearly marked with squares, and like the inclines you can build on have these very clear markings. You can see like this incline is not marked because it's too steep to be buildable. Uh, everything feels very intuitive. The controls all work the way you would expect them to. The information on screen is very clear. I want this as well so that we can easily deliver workers over here. Okay. And once some of these trains land, we can start shipping boards out. So the boards are going to be worth like $9,000 per uh, per load, which is going to get us our other couple of engines pretty quickly. Uh, and then obviously we still need to run some more track as well. Like the glass has to be connected to the furniture factory, and we haven't even talked about this at all. Right now I'm just going to keep the money flowing, because we have a lot of... A lot of buy-in left to do. 
But another thing we need to do is actually get some workers out to the furniture factory. I think I do want to save up for the next... Yeah, we, we want to get another engine. We have a lot of things we have to keep running here. Okay, so that's enough workers for that. Let's... I guess just let things run for a moment here. In particular, I, I really need to get these workers. Okay. Now that we have a little bit more money, let's build out some stuff. So you can see here, some of the tra some of the squares on the ground are red. That means that there's debris in them that would have to be cleared, and it makes them a little bit more expensive to build through. So you want to try to route around stuff like that as best you can. Oh, wait, I should actually, I should build this in such a way. Oh, see, we're having a problem here. I should build this in such a way that the glass can actually get out in this direction. Ah, uh, I see what I did. Okay. Uh, in order to get this to connect to here, this bit of track has to be straight, so what we actually needed to do was something more like that. Unfortunately, we can fix this, but it's going to be a little bit of money before I can actually get the other... Uh... Are these all right? Yeah, they're all right. It's to be a little bit of money before we can actually lay down the correct version of that track. Okay, there we go. We do have to build through the debris a little bit to get the thing I wanted happening here. Okay. Then we should probably get these out. Oh no, I've run out of engines. I should have held off on this. Oh well. If you have a train crash, it's not the end of the world, it won't end the level, but you will have to... First of all, obviously, you lose all the stuff that was in the trains, and secondly, you'll have to do some uh, rebuilding and repairing. It's not ideal. Okay, so we need, what, one more load of wood, I think? And also not to let our cities just sit at maximum people, because that's a, a terrible waste of resources. We need one more... We need one more load of glass to here... And then we need two loads of glass to here. Oh, and then we still we still need sand for the bricks too. So actually, I need uh, I need guys at the sand place. You know, the old sand makery. That's probably what it's called. That sounds authentic. All right, things are going pretty well here. I think we are going to buy our other locomotive. So we now have enough. Yeah, we have enough boards here. So let's start sending boards out to... Uh, it's a little inconvenient. The boards have to go to the village at the bottom of the hill, not the one at the top. Uh, fortunately, I think this is where we're going to make use of that tunnel that they laid for us ahead of time. Weaving through the debris because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay for its removal. Okay, so we'll send some of this out. And by the time this glass arrives at the furniture factory, they'll be ready for it. Actually, no, never mind. We totally have enough glass there. So actually this glass needs to get to the village at the top of the hill, which is gonna be actually kind of a pain. Uh, Alright, well, we probably actually, see, the way the track's laid out right now, we'd have to run it all the way down here. No, sorry, all the way down here and up like that. And it's gonna have to cross the path of everything else we're doing. So why don't we build some new track and route around? We're going to have to run some track out from the, the brick building out to here anyway. So we're going to take this glass up to here. It would look like... Oh, wait. I have to build actually into the slope. Wind around as much debris as possible. Okay, I need to make a little bit more money, but what we can do with this is just stop this train once it clears that switch and turn it around. Make sure we route this in the correct direction. Okay. I was going to route one of those trains of workers over this way, and I kind of spaced. Got distracted. We're going to have a tiny little bit of inefficiency here. Building through every single tree. Alright, so we, we need another load of workers. Should I just... I think these guys are probably just going to the furniture factory. It's a little roundabout, but that is where workers are needed most. Come on, give me that money. I think we're going to have to stop the train. 
I was hoping to get to do that the fast way. Okay, so you guys, yeah, we definitely want you going there. What do we still need over here? I guess what we still need over here is... No, we do not need another load of boards. Uh, I guess what we need over here is some of this. So we may as well deliver these boards over here. It's just $6,000. We don't actually need them. But we could... Uh... Yeah, we could have... These guys just run up to the brick maker because we are going to need workers there eventually. I think this is the last load of sand we need for the for the glass, right? I remember to actually switch that into the correct position. So we have two loads of dudes bound for the brick maker and one. Yeah, whatever. Just let him. This guy's actually supposed to be going to the glass factory. I think that's where he is most needed. Oh no, I'm totally wrong. For some reason I thought we had enough guys to, uh, we had enough boards. Yeah, see, this, this is what happens. I get distracted. I'm like, okay, well I know, I know this train needs to go here, so we'll just send out one load of dudes and then I get looking at something else, anything else, really anything that could be happening and somehow completely forget what my goal was. Okay. This is easy enough. We know we just gotta get these out here. Uh, your job is actually to make it over to the glass factory. Okay. Better. Things are, <laughs> things are a little more straightened out here. Uh, believe it or not, Talking while doing something like this really does add quite a degree of difficulty. Also, you do have to lay down the tracks that make it possible for your trains to do the things you want them to do. That's also an issue. We'll just reverse this guy back into here. And somehow I managed to screw this up as well. All I'll say is, thank God for the pausing. There are a couple of levels where in order to get all the stars you have to not pause. And you'll be shocked to know that I found those levels relatively difficult. Okay, uh, so we have the glass we need. We have the bricks that we need. We're making the last boards. Yeah, everything's cool. Alright, so let's make sure that the path for these boards is correct. Still have another load of furniture to deliver as well. And then the glass has to get to upper city so the best route for that is along here and we can start running the bricks as well and there are speed controls at this point i think we have no more decisions to make let's make sure that we're not going to have a collision here but yeah we can speed things up if i can actually manage to click on the buttons i do not play with the speed up very often because like i said a lot of what i get out of this game is the extremely chill atmosphere so we did it, we got our 5 star, and if you get a 5 star rating, then you can check these out and see um, you see my previous best scores in uh, in the gold here, and then the, this run scores in grey. Um, I do kind of wish that, like the Zactronics games, this allowed you to compare your scores directly with your Steam friends. I'm pretty sure that this was, I think this may have originally been a mobile game, it was not originally a Steam game, so I can understand why it doesn't have that kind of Steamworks integration, but it is a little bit of a bummer. Okay, so I think at this point you probably get the idea, but I do want to show you a later level uh, just so that you can see like how it continues to ramp up. Here's the, I haven't actually played this one yet. Here's a level I just unlocked. Let's see what Detroit is all about. So 25 minutes, earn at least $2 million. So you get these goals on some of the levels. Uh, basically, if you just complete the level doing the bare minimum, you won't make the $2 million. So you have to make sure that you're continuing to... Uh, move workers into basic resource places, you know, continuing to run your upgrade chain uh, beyond what is necessary for the level and avoid train crashes. Easy enough. Okay, let's have a look at this. So this is an unusual type of thing that just started showing up in my levels, uh, where you just pay money, where you just pay $5,000 to get six shipments of appliances. So what do we actually need? We need, okay, we have a city here and a city there. This city needs cars, of course, Detroit, and also petroleum, a uh, fuel. I guess this is probably the petroleum, right? Yeah, okay. So to uh, refine the fuel out of workers and oil and also power. So somewhere on the map over here, 
ah, there's a power station, but it's not built yet, so we're going to have to throw $30,000 in here to build this up so that we can send people over there. And then once you have a power station running, it's going to require some sort of resources to produce power, and it has to be connected by rail to anything that you want it to power. Let's just start building this out. Like right here, obviously, we have an initial spot here where we can do some some initial shipping because we're going to need to make some early money. And this place up here is going to want to connect to... Uh, with this slope the way it's shaped, we're not going to be able to build over that, right? Yeah. So we can't connect to this unless I can... I, I'm assuming I can't cross these roads. Can we bridge over the roads? Okay, well, I mean, there are a bunch of places we can build bridges, but no, we can't actually do that thing with them. What on earth am I... I guess the raw the raw oil place is where we're going. So we'd have to use this bridge to get over there. We had to build another bridge as well. So actually, we're not going to be able to connect at all here at the beginning. Let's not spend any money then. Let's just run connections out of this one place where we can. So we're going to be able to ship 15 workers in there. Sadly, since it needs power, it's not going to start producing anything. Um, which means that we won't be able to ship more than 15 workers, because it'll stay at the worker cap until we can figure out what to do about the power station. So we're going to end up with $38,000. Does that give us enough money to build this and then still uh, have the money to run the track to it? Be like... No, it does not. 11000 more dollars needed. And I mean, this has a this has a seventeen thousand this route has a seventeen thousand dollar bridge in it. So, what are we supposed to do here? Because we can no longer make money, right? I can't ship dudes here, huh? Maybe I missed an obvious station. Do you sometimes do things like that when talking while playing? Okay, there is some pre-laid track. We could demolish some of our existing assets for money. Each track space that you demolish gives you back $500, which unfortunately... What, were we 3000 short of being able to make this connection? Yeah, that's not nearly enough. I guess we have these bridges. We could demolish one of the bridges. Maybe we won't actually need this one. Let's... yeah, let's start there. Let's start there. Okay, so we got this built up. We need to just deliver some workers to it so they will make electricity. And it's still going to be quite a while before we can use the workers for this city. I think this is the first map I've seen where there was no way to connect both of the cities at the beginning. Unless I, I might be missing something really obvious. I don't think I am. Let's run a couple of trains worth of dudes. So you can see on these higher levels, you start with better trains that move faster and have more cars. And we have the ability to upgrade our trains to add an additional car and make them even faster. You see the power station is just consuming its resources and it's making power as long as there are things to consume. So now this thing is working. Uh, and we do need tires here, processed rubber at this city. So that's how we'll make a bunch of our early money to repair the bridge that we destroyed, or to figure out the rest of this routing. Let's send another another trainload of dudes to the power station, and hold on a moment. Let's also get this set up. So a trainload of processed rubber is going to be yeah, three thousand dollars per, uh, per per car. So that's pretty good. That'll give us a lot of money to work with. So if we're going to build over to this bridge. Because of this slope, we're going to have to build in this row, so we may as well use this track that's already laid down. Because if we tried to come, uh, if we tried to come up any closer, we, we'd run into that uh, sharp right turn problem. Okay, we still need, yeah, we need the rest of this money before we can finish the route because we still have to lay that bridge. All right, so we have more power than we have workers left in the tire factory. So the next, the next load of workers is definitely going to the tire factory. All right, and that's given us a ton of money to play with. I think that is probably enough to... Yeah, here we go, here we go. 
Okay, so that thing has a capacity of 15. We can send three loads of workers there immediately. And we can also launch a load of processed rubber back to the city as soon as this is done. Okay, so now we have some... Now we have some actual income going. We have a little bit of a, a plan, sort of. Let's send the next load of workers over to here. We have enough... Uh, we have enough rubber coming out of here to meet the city's demand, but we probably will produce additional rubber. Do we need rubber for any of the stuff we're still doing? Well, right, we'll need rubber for the tires and the cars. Sure, that makes sense. We're also going to need uh, engineers, which we make over here with the appliances that we can buy and also books. Where, where am I getting my books? Oh, okay. So this is a this is a thing. Books will just be produced from this factory every so often. We have no ability to influence the speed at which they get made, but they also don't require any resources. They'll just show up. So I guess we need to make sure that we have a route for those to get... Well, we don't have to worry about it right now. Uh, when it's getting close to producing the books, the timer will start to turn red. We'll have we'll have plenty of warning. Don't worry, it's not just going to happen. Uh, let's send back that last load of rubber. And then... And we're doing all right here. What do we want to do next? I guess what we want to do next is open up the fuel processing area. Probably. Well, we can't run that until we get power anyway. So I guess what we actually want to do next is figure out how to get power over here. Uh, this is the only power station on the whole map. So we're going to need a bridge. Like we can build a... Okay, we can't build a bridge. All right, we can build a bridge here, but we can't do anything with it. Because it goes directly into the city. We wouldn't be able to build track on the end of that. So we actually are going to have to rebuild this bridge. Because we're going to have to run the power like this. Alright, well, let's start by building this bridge. This will give us another useful place to put workers. We're starting to uh, starting to come to an end of wanting to put them in the rubber factory. By the time that train reaches here, that place should have room for another five workers. It's going to take a minute. I guess we need, yeah, we need the, we need 15 more tires because we need 15 cars delivered. So we may as well keep working on those in a reasonably efficient way. These guys can go to the power station. All right, so if we build out to here. And then we try to avoid all of the debris on this island. Ah, uh, yeah, we do want them to go to the power station, right? And send another load of workers to the oil place. Okay. There we go. We're getting we're getting reconnected. In fact, we might be able to just follow that train up already. But we're gonna be we're gonna be at capacity here pretty soon. Alright, so let's talk about the route that gets us that gets our power all the way over to here. How exactly am I going to do this? We're running power this way. Something like this. Is we can run it to right here right now. We run it up to here. Can we... We can't... Again, we have some like weird uneven ground. So we're going to have to bridge over there somehow. Except I can't. No bridging available on this surface. Okay, but we have a nice smooth incline on this side. If we're trying to connect power to here, we want to run it... Um, hmm, how do we... Because uh, we can get up to this platform. Can we bridge off of this platform? We can. Okay, so this bridge has to get built. Oh, and you can see the little bit of red here. When this fills completely with red, this will produce a trainload of books. So we actually have to get this problem solved, like, pretty quickly. Well, we'll have a little bit more money in a second. It's actually filling a little faster than I would like. And we can no longer make money by sending people to that uh, oil factory until we can find something to do with the oil. How much was that bridge? It was like 30,000? Uh-oh. I think we are in a little bit of a position here. Okay, we gotta build... Here's what we're gonna do. The bridge goes here. So we're gonna build some track... That 
looks like it heads out to there. I just want there to be some track for this train to get onto. We may have to, um... Can't really see... Oh, you know what I see? I see what we need to do. We need to connect this appliance thing to the, uh, I'm assuming this is a school, and then we can pay $5,000 for a load of appliances, but appliances are pretty highly processed goods, so they'll actually be really valuable. Yeah, that's $5,000 for a $30,000 train of appliances. Now, obviously, we can only do that as many times as that building actually needs appliances, but that is absolutely what we are going to do. Let's get some investment going here. Okay, yeah, this is totally going to work out. Uh, do we want to run this train load of workers over to that school? We have room for another another load of appliances here. I don't know, because we, like, we don't actually need the power until the school has all of the other components. Yeah, let's go ahead and just run these guys over there. Okay, so here comes the book train. Now we can tell the book train to stop, which is what I'm going to do as soon as... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. You can't tell it to stop until it's most of the way out of the station it's coming from already. But I think we're good now. We managed to build the bridge right in front of it. Hopefully that is not a problem that people encounter in real-world railroad engineering. Okay, and actually, uh, thanks to the appliance, uh, the appliances we purchased there, we don't actually even need it to stop anymore. I can just deliver all the way. Okay, I think we've I think we've sort of uh, gotten past our bottleneck here. The next load of workers, this this next load of workers that's coming out here definitely needs to be delivered to the power station. But yeah, we're gonna actually be able to produce some engineers, and then uh, we need to get engineers to the car factory eventually. But for now, we can just return them to the city for a tidy profit. Okay, so now let's talk about getting our oil processed. We need a bridge from here. Uh, how do I plan to do this? How are we actually going to get the oil over here? Because this area is narrow enough. Yeah, like we're not going to be able to get a train track to turn around. Okay, so we could... Over here we could try to build like a turnaround. As we go all the way around the hill. Oh, that's very expensive. But it works. And actually, expensive is kind of immaterial, right? We have a ton of money to work with. So yeah, let's start sending train. I guess we're going to need to actually connect uh, workers over there as well. Alright, send some workers. There we go, stuff's going. Oh, this is still not, first of all, not actually connected to the factory. And secondly, I do have to actually build the power out. There's a reason that we hesitated on this. Okay, there we go. So now, when the power station gets a load of workers here, this should turn on, I think. Right? I think we have a, a solid rail connection all the way there. Yeah, cool. Alright, even more stuff. You definitely need to just keep running the power. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> no major collisions. I managed to miss clicking on this. Fortunately, you can zoom in and out for situations like that. So we have another load of books being delivered. That's going to be $36,000 when it hits, which is just wonderful. Okay, so I'm not going to play this whole level. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But I think you get the idea, and you can see... I think this level turned out to be actually a really great example of how things get more complex and they add new mechanics and stuff. Um, yeah, I think that this game is great. And like I said... As, oh, I, hold on. Let's go back to the level select screen. I don't think I made, uh, made a big enough deal about this. There are 50 levels. Some of them are very complicated. And you can see, like, the fact that I've gotten all the way into the 30s represents a very significant amount of playtime. Uh, I believe the game is $15 on Steam right now, and I would say that for the amount of content that's here, it is absolutely worth that. This game is really good and really full of stuff. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video was useful to you. Uh, and come back in the future for more of these. There's a bunch of stuff coming out soon that I want to take a look at. And we'll see you then.